Alrighty then, so we're going on another little road trip. So this is this is going to be a video mainly aimed at Brits, because um, you know we have like off licenses and stuff in the UK, and they're not really that big or impressive. And uh, we can now buy like beer in garages, which is pretty mad. And, uh, and supermarkets ain't really that impressive anyway. But um, so where are we going? We're going to a place called Total Wine and More. It oh. is wine upon wine upon wine, as well as every kind of beer what, what, and liquor not, and everything oh, you can you, imagine. I was say, what if I'm not a wine buff? Well, you will find literally every kind of alcohol that they have. So basically a, super, a supermarket for booze. For anyone who's ever heard of Walmart, it is the Walmart of wine and liquor. Walmart of wine. That's it's awesome. massive. I, I might have to use that yeah. as, a, as a title. Go for it. Walmart of wine. So we're going wine. to the Walmart of wine. So we'll see you there. So here we go. We are at Total Wine and More, which is like, hey Julie. Walmart of wine. Yeah, look at the side. Look at the size of it. This is this is um, an off license, and like, but what I love about it is right next to Planet Fitness. So there's loads of people like on running machines and stuff like that there, and we're just going to go and look at booze. Yeah. So as long as as long as they can let us film in there, because that might be a thing, might not it? Be right. Okay. Let's do this. Right. Okay. So it's Jules and Jules again. On another random uh, video. Loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it. We're loving it like that. So I'm not a wine drinker, personally. A 500, what? Uh, oh, there's one that's... Uh... There's one that's 1,800 yeah. and... Okay. Well, that's interesting. So the C Silver Oak Cabernet Sauvignon from the Napa Valley is 1,824 dollars and randomly 97 cents so oh look at that bruce look at that one bruv this is for you 1149 look at it napa valley so this is cool so i'm not i'm not actually that into wine but i'm impressed by the selection already i don't know if i could drink a one thousand dollar one so Oh my god, this is just all reds. It kind of, it kind of makes... Look at this. Oh my days. 92 bucks. 104. I want to see something that I recognise that's like a fiver in Sainsbury's. And see that it's like... 50 quid in here. So far, I don't recognise anything. I'm not particularly a wine buff, but see that, that that's more mine. A can tea for twelve ninety nine. So <laughs> this is mental. Oh my god, that one's at like one hundred and thirty nine nine nine. Five. This is mental. I think the one, the other one I've been to, the one in Marietta, yeah. is like maybe a third bigger. It's the prices though. Yeah, you get it. Got a wide range too, I think. Yeah, I mean you've got some affordable ones, but I don't I, I recognise I, I obviously I've had I've had Val Policelli. How blue do you want to be? I don't know, that's just this is mad. Yeah, the one in Marietta is even bigger, the one I've also been to Orlando and Yeah, but this is still this is still big one. compared to oh, anything yeah. anything we've got. This is way bigger than we most, have, um, most wine places you'll find in the States. You'll have to go to like France for us to find something like that. Mm -hmm. So look. Oh look, they've got some Rillet really. and some Irish Hoaks. Stuff to go with wine. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Savies from France, that was what I was just saying. So it's funny that a lot white wine's cheaper. Uh, <laughs> I literally haven't seen it, one it was, brand. Oh, it was mostly Italy. No, also this is, Loire Valley. So look, so here's a Pinot. Let's have a look at that. See, that's not bad, $16.99. But you could still pick that up. I don't reckon six ninety nine. There you go. So that, that's that's kind of UK prices. So we're used to that. But unfortunately, booze are more expensive here in the states. Some you can get like a decent bottle of wine in Europe for six euros. Yeah, exactly. Here, it's going to be yeah. I've twice seen as stuff much. in the thousands. I don't. I wouldn't appreciate it though. I don't think. 
but then like how much better can it be exactly like i don't think it's gonna taste a thousand dollars i know it's like no, you'd have a sip good. and you'd be like oh that's like twenty dollars that sip looks like they do taste testing and training and stuff here Wait, so that was that was wine now what oh no we're still on wine italian and french this is, so this is our third isle of wine and sparkling wines. I, I don't mind the sparkling wine. Prosecco gives me a headache. Champagne. Oh, I do like a bit of JP Chenet. So that is the first one that I've recognised. And that's 11 99 so that's about £10. So, yeah. And uh, I've had this champagne here. Oh, my God. So I've had that and that. So oh, it's not even a champagne. It's just a brute. For 34 99 for a little bottle. That should be about eight bucks that's mad but yeah i just wanted you, you guys to see this so so there you go more sparkly stuff over there let's see are these all brutes i don't even think i'm on the champagne section oh no here's the champagne so like average like 50 oh we get that back home um, look at the prices over $84 for a bottle of Piper Headsick. Crazy. More like it, look. Under $6. <laughs> Under $5. So, that's, it's, it's good to know that they've at least got some, some bottles that are like, uh, you know, for people on a budget. There you go. That's all right. So, we've gone past all the expensive stuff. And then we're looking at this. But that's what I mean. How different is like something for $6 compared to something for $1,800? But not being a wine connoisseur, I wouldn't really know. I'm more about beer and spirits, me. So let's have a, go let's have a look around. I have some Viking necklace at home. Look what Julie found. Viking blood. <laughs> yeah, they've got... Oh, this so one. why is that honey wine with dried... Hibiscus and ginger added. So, and they have this uh, the soju stuff that we saw at the uh, H Mart. Yeah, but it was cheaper at H Mart. Yeah, by dollar fifty. Yeah, yeah. But I've still got some of that in the fridge actually. Well, that's and that's the only reason I bought the little pink carbonara um, noodles uh -huh. from a previous video, just because of that that bottle. What the hell is this? Plum wine. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Too. And you get plums, and there's red decadent chocolate. Now you're getting into the dessert. What ones. the hell? Oh yeah, and Harvey's, <laughs> Bristol cream, a British sherry. That's really funny. Oh, so, yeah, spice, but it's like double stuff. the price. Uh, I suppose it is a big bottle. Yeah, it's a very big bottle. But um, and then all this weird stuff, Southern Country cocktail creams. Yeah, I'm. I'm oh, Taylor's Port. That's actually not a bad price. A little bottle for like five forty nine, nine ninety nine. That's about the same price as back home. Okay. Yeah, this is interesting. Just just to compare. Right, where's the beer and spirits at? Let's go. Oh, sangria, anyone? Look at that. See, that's fourteen forty nine. The size of that beast. That last year, a night. Oh, look. And we got gal. That's that's actually really good value for money because. I don't mind California wine, and that's six six ninety seven for a huge bottle. So that's like one point five liters. So uh, this is mad. Right, we're on to the craft beer section now, which is the stuff that always drags me in because I love the artwork. But I don't actually like the beer. It's a shame. I don't like IPAs. Look at that. Who wouldn't want to buy a bottle with a werewolf on it? me obviously because i wouldn't drink it i'd just buy it for the label i do like a bit of orange cider though especially the blood orange how much are they 2.99 for half a pint oh come on you can get like you know a pint for three pounds in with spoons and you know what evening wouldn't be complete without some cheese balls on i want that cheese puff so so yeah this is all like the, the ipas which I can't stand, which is sad. 
because I should like them. And then you've got like all the seltzers and stuff over here, which we don't get seltzers really in the UK anymore. We used like it's 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 like the version of like WKD Blue and all that crap that we used to drink in the in the nineties, but they're still drinking it here. So. See, I thought I'd really like this one. I did try this IPA, the Terrapin one, but I can't stand it. So, there you go. Just give me a yingling. One, one dollar twenty-nine. I'm happy with that. <laughs> but you can see what I mean, though. I'm looking at something. Look. Just, I will find something. Oh, that's interesting. So you can get Jack Daniel's Southern Peach. Jack Daniel's Punch. Oh, no, I don't know. I still can do it. Sapporo. That's more like it. Bit of Singer. We love a bit of that with our Indian food. Man. <laughs> it's like... For someone that's indecisive, it's really hard work, this shop. <laughs> Too many things. Yeah. Now, that is a banging beer. Estrella de Galicia, like, you know, but uh, still, I suppose it's the whole food, food miles thing, isn't it? It's two, two forty, forty nine. Should be able to get that for about. Oh, and here's a Pilsner Urkel, the the Czech beer, two forty nine for like a little can. So it's good. And then you got your your Trappist out, twelve ninety nine, man. So now we're getting to into the stuff that I recognise that I've drunk, but then because I'm from what was once Europe, now from, from the UK. It's like, uh, it's interesting comparing the prices. Oh look, got a Heineken <laughs> from Amsterdam. And this, this one's banging, I've had this. Tomato favoured uh, Mexican cerveza, awesome. All right, so that's that oil done. I don't know what these are, oh, ready mixed cocktails. I think I'll leave them. Look, they got boxes of white beater <laughs> for $29 for 24 bottles. Wow. Bit of Canadian lager, never had that before. So that some of you will recognize some of this. Oh, that, that's interesting. The Killian's Irish Red, that is a banging one. War Steiner, that's good. Bit of Guinness, bit of Peroni. Starting to look a little bit more like Sainsbury's, isn't it? Oh my days, look at that. Box of Nuki Brown. <laughs> and something that no one should drink. Carlsberg pills, now. come on. Get over yourself. But that's why, like, they've got heart lager from Dublin. But even that's 27 for, like, $27 for six points. Man. This is... There you go, there's some beers right there. Oh, hang on, we, we're into Modelo country right now. And that, that's probably what I'll pick up. 12 99 is that right? No, that's Dosic, Dosic with Amber. Oh, looks like it's sold up, or is it that one? So, yeah, yeah, that, that Modelo is amazing. Absolutely amazing. The carte, that's normally a cheap one, but you can pick that up in um in Walmart. Right, sorry about the camera work, I'm just literally walking around going, mmm, beer. They got a yingling up there, Hershey's, so it's a yingling chocolate. You see out there? That's not as good as it sounds. And then you got like this is the light beer section. So you've got like zero carbs lager. I can't imagine what that tastes like. I'm sorry, but I'm not, I'm not buying it. I'm not buying into it. Michelob Amberbock. Where's the prices? So, I might have to get that. A dark lager, that's, that's, that's my go-to so far. Oh, they've got Yingling Black and Tan. That is banging, and you know what? 10.99, that's bargain. Porter and premium beer, that, that is a really good one. So, wow. And then you've got the cider, but in the USA it's called hard cider. Cider, I'm guessing because they call apple juice cider. No idea. 
Oh, they've got the Yingling Oktoberfest look just there on its own. There. There you go, look. So it's, it's like the size of a supermarket, but just booze. And this is the smaller one. I know, this is a smaller one. We don't really get a lot I'm of this stuff. I'm sure had like actual spirits. Yeah. Oh, is this one, oh, this one not have any spirits? I, I haven't seen any. So. No. Oh, sorry. No, nah, it's all good. It's not your fault. Maybe so, over the weekend we'll go to the other one. Just go to a like, yeah. Check it out. One with, yeah, um. Probably a third bigger than this one is. These things are very, very addictive. Which is why I don't tend to buy those big pots because I would get through one of them in a couple of days. Sam Adams, that's funny. Yingling's quite a popular one. Yeah, I do like Yingling. They've, they've got one up there that I might buy in a minute. They've got a, a porter. Mm -hmm. So. I actually used to know Yingling. I worked with her when I was in Orlando. Oh, so it's so an actual surname. Yeah, it's actually a fam family name. That's and cool. And I asked her finally, because she was from Tampa, yeah. which is where they have a brewery. And I was like, by any chance, is that your family? And she's like, uh, yes, it is. That's it's more cool. My uncles, but yes, that is my family. Well, I hope she was still getting something out of that name. Asahi Sapporo, we got that back home. Australia Galicia, Modelo Negro, right there, look, nine ninety nine. So, that that might be my go-to tonight. That little six-pack. <laughs> so, it's, it's one of my favourites. But they see if they got the fat boys. Oh my god. Being in here with ADHD is, um, is quite so overwhelming. I just don't know where to look. I'm just looking at all the pretty colours and just thinking, mmm, beer. I need Joe. Just going, oh no. Oh, a beer is good. I've had that. That's a nice one. That's nice and cheap as well. 9.99. I like my am ambers and darks at the moment. Mm -hmm. So. Plenty of options here. Too many. So. Right, we're gonna go around one more. So bearing in mind, we've just all we've looked at is wine and beer. They haven't even got spirits here. And like, I don't know how long this video is gonna be, but Jesus, it's we're like the cigar section behind you as well. is there uh, porter, bourbon barrel porter. It's like it's too much. These are all the seasonal releases. Oh yeah, uh, I didn't go October first. I think I'm alright. Chocolate and beer don't really go together, let's face it. Pumpkin, no. So yeah, there you go. So that's it. That's just a beer and wine shop in in the USA. And look, and they've got this. This is the place to buy it. This, this in particular is a massive one. It's huge. It's like it's bigger than most of our supermarkets. Even the keg menu. Oh, they've got kegs. That's cool for parties. Wow. Goddamn lazy Mongolians. I, I just said that because I'm reading it at the bottom there, if you, just in case you go under one, wonder why I randomly said that. We've got a, a lazy Mongolian southern pecan, which sounds quite interesting. French toast. Yeah, I saw that. I was also surprised and curious. Yeah, I think that's my favourite um, label so far. Emergency drinking beer. You'd have to have it in a cabinet where you could, like, you know, break glass to open. Although this is glass, but I'm not going to break it because that would be vandalism so on this aisle we have like all the syrups oh my god this is nuts all the bitters like pineapple all the juices and stuff like that. I might be able to get some of that um oh yeah they're gonna sell that the tomato juice I really like and then you've got all the little bits to go with it bada bing cherries the olives olives good States. buffalo blue olives are they stuffed with black blue cheese Oh, that's not fair. I, I would, if it wasn't $8.99, I might pick it up. I might pick it up anyway. <laughs> and just tons of snacks. Oh my God. Come on, the UK. We've got, we've got bookers. We need something like this. Where we can all go and be intimidated by the amount of uh, stuff. But anyway, I'm probably going to stick with my usual and go with a yingling or uh, something dark. And uh, yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this random, just look at the size of this place. That's no moon video. Um, yeah, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. I'm going to buy something. It might take me 10 minutes. 
They've got blood orange ginger beer. Oh my God. Imagine that with like a nice gin. Wow. These are quite nice as well. Oh, I absolutely love San Pellegrino. And uh, my favorite one is obviously what we were talking about earlier, the blood orange one. Mm -hmm. So it's absolutely, they're all good though. All I like those, good. I just wish they had options that were like half the sugar. Yeah. Like give me some of those. So it's a Shirley Temple. Is that diet ginger beer? Root, so, oh, they got a beta root beer. Oh my God, I just need to stop recording now. Right, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this random, like, for me, actually quite stressful because I, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm just walking around looking at all this stuff. Going, uh, I just want to buy something and leave. <laughs> so I'm going to turn it off now and uh, follow Julie around while she makes selections. I right, say goodbye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, after all that, stressing, I made my mind up. I'm going with a shiner box. Bosh. Look at that. So, nothing finer than a shiner. Bum, 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 bum. Shiner Brewery. I'll get that home and do a nice little taste test. I think because of working in uh, Dublin, I'm going to go for the Killian's Irish Red. I haven't had that for absolutely years. So let's get some of that.